First thing is go to CIA.gov and there's a state of cloud computing report that was published that uh, we, we helped the federal CIO on and it's got 30 case studies on that. But since then we're not waiting, we've released more studies that have gone forward and actually gone to the cloud. The latest one was uh, Treasury Department, the entire website went to the cloud and now it offers them uh, an ability to go to data visualization and other services. You can add layer services into the cloud and then scale also. Uh, data.gov is in the cloud, like I mentioned. Recovery.gov is in the cloud. USA.gov is in the cloud. So a lot of the new uh, infrastructures are going straight to the cloud that are more public facing. Secondly, you know, NASA with Nebula and, and our awards recently that we have made, we are trying to operationalize these services so that they can be going out and making it available to customers. So under apps.gov, we have made all the infrastructure as a service, software as a service, and platform as a service, mainly infrastructure first and software, we've started that and put it, put it out there so that people can start ordering that. On infrastructure service, there are 12 uh, vendors in the BPA that we've awarded, and now we're gonna make it easy for people to order services right off the portal, which I sort of had a little, showed it, showed it from far. We are not ready to release it uh, exactly yet, but significant savings, easy to order, right on the portal, and you can provision web hosting, storage, or, or uh, you know, virtualization right there. Configure it, order it, get it. And so that is pretty unique. Uh, the other thing we're doing is obviously GSA has also awarded uh, the email for itself in the cloud. And so that's one thing we're doing right now. And, and USDA also announced they've also gone to the cloud. And we're doing this uh, email as a service uh, to show software as a service, which is a government-wide acquisition which we're going in right now. So, I mean, I can go on and on, but my point is, as you can see, now I can't, no, you know, I'm not, this is not vaporware, this is real. This is something that we're trying to actually make happen. And I think with that, uh, we're actually trying to offer more services. The challenge I think uh, we see also is like, for example, Army has gone to a virtual cloud uh, framework for a private cloud for themselves. Uh, so these are all going in. What we're trying to do now is make sure all of these link together. So there's a cloud strategy document that'll be released uh, very soon, let's say in a month or so, that the federal CIO is, you know, is, is we are all working on it, he's, he's announced. And so the cloud strategy lays the way that we're thinking about things. And obviously this cloud first policy, every agency will now an announce what are some of the systems that they're gonna migrate, and then we will help uh, you know, uh, combine and put it together. The other thing is the private cloud also is an area where there's a lot of growth and people are looking into that. And data center consolidation is a big deal. So why is that linked to the cloud? It's linked to the cloud because if it's a private cloud and you can start off with virtualization and so on and so forth, you can actually instantiate a more uh, controlled offering, if you would, within the data centers, reduce them, virtualize them, consolidate them, and also have private clouds uh, uh, better, if you would, with the data center thought. And then if you go with a public cloud, then obviously that's open. But people are gonna look at public and private and some hybrids. So I think with the data center uh, announcement today and also this uh, cloud announcement today, uh, we're gonna be busy, busier than we are. We're working all the time. I'm supposed to be on vacation today, but I still came in. And this is so exciting for all of us because I think a lot of us are really seeing that there's a tremendous opportunity here of us all working together to shape it. And so we're really excited about it.